joining us right now Bengaluru rural MP Mr D K Suresh who is busy in his campaign trail sir the election heat has increased how's the campaign going as usual uh this is the fourth election i am facing uh so there is no change in my election campaign or my routine work my routine work will start uh, regularly from morning 9:30 to till 11 11:30 12 o'clock as usual uh, whatever uh, work i am doing i am doing it hmm. only thing because of this election code of conduct is there election is there hmm. i have to appeal the people public i have to gear up my workers so this is the election campaign sir at the same time as you rightly mentioned not your first election you've already contested here multiple times it's a area that's called your fortress but this time round the bjp jds coming together putting a candidate uh, who's not from political background who served the society as a doctor does it change things for you sir no this is not the first time i'm facing uh, jds and bjp hmm. this is the already, already in the first by election itself uh, when uh, shrimati anita kumar swami was contested the time also bjp and jds was been allied this is not the first time this is the battle between the a, a, a what uh, our ideology is there our ideology is different their ideology is different they are uh, trying to defame our uh, uh, things but only thing whatever i am doing my hard work in from past 10 years i am asking for the wages to the people whether i am going to work or not you have to decide i am requesting them i am appeal them whatever works i have done give the give it in a wages way hmm. you are referring to the guarantees as well how much of an impact will it have sir because it's being seen as modi ki guarantee versus the congress is five guarantees in karnataka see modi ji honorable prime minister when he came to karnataka in uh, assembly election he opposed the guarantee name yes now he has uh, taken on over the guarantee name and uh, uh, telling that modi guarantee i don't know what is the modi guarantee whether the modi guarantee is 15 lakhs or price rise issue or uh, unemployment issue hmm. what is the guarantee but we karnataka people karnataka government Karnataka Congress government I was issued five guarantees in uh, last April June July, yeah. last April we have delivered all the five guarantees in especially in the rural area each and every houses in my constituency around 95% of the constituency has been covered under five guarantees in uh, even in urban areas especially this uh, gurajyoti hmm. power connection yes. free power for 200 200 units that has been covered by 75% of the people and rest of the schemes is those who are eligible they are also getting so it is impact a lot that it it, it changes the entire economy situation situation of their uh, lifestyle hmm. this is the thing we can see it in after 3 years definitely the state economy will grow hmm. sir you you're talking about economy you've seen the allegations by the bjp saying that because of this the state's development has taken a hit capital expenditure has gone down all the money is going towards uh, uh, these five guarantees so e the capital expenditure has been increased budget has been increased the rural poor and uh, middle class people are very happy about the guarantee but this bjp people are crying there whatever the taxes are there uh, what we are paying the taxes hmm. from karnataka karnataka is the second highest largest uh, tax payers in the country we have paid last uh, t- 10 years we have paid almost 24 lakh thousand crores hmm. in return we are getting only 2 lakh 92 thousand crores this is the discrimination and they are uh, doing it they are telling uh, yesterday or day before yesterday honorable uh, finance minister is addressing the some of the media some of uh, some program 
He told about the guarantees. We are not giving guarantees. We are not asking any guarantee money. Hmm. We are not beggars of the Karnat. Kanadigas are not beggars. We are the taxpayers. Whatever the funds they have to be given, whatever funds is been uh, taken by the government of India towards North Northern India, that share we want it in a perfect manner. We are also suffering from various various development we wanted to do. See, North, Northern Karnataka, water issue, water issues, uh, irrigation projects, infrastructure we wanted to do for Bangalore, infrastructure we wanted to do for rural areas. For that, big, big projects we wanted to take up. For that, that purpose, we are asking the whatever the devolution share is there, hmm. whatever the losses we are facing in 15th finance, hmm. uh, that uh, whatever people have agreed, government of india has been agreed that money we are asking not any a, 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 for any guarantee scheme we are not asking any single prime paisa from uh, nirmala sitaraman or uh, modi government hmm. Hmm. sir a statement that you made uh, on the same issue had triggered a huge controversy the bjp said uh, mr radik suresh is asking for a separate country he is talking about breaking the country how do you view that entire controversy and have your thoughts or statements changed after that i have not changed my statement my statement is perfect hmm. whatever the uh, whatever the discrimination is going against south india whatever what my statement is if they are doing like this people of south india will protest hmm. against the government of india hmm. in a different manner hmm. that type of statement i made i am not asking i am a indian i am in a federal system mm. i have not changed my statement also i am not ready to regret also mm. this is my stand whatever the taxes we are paying mm. we are we are asking for a justice justice has to be given by the government of india all money is going towards the northern india all projects is going towards the northern india we are facing unemployment issue we are facing lot of uh, water crisis uh, irrigation pro uh, projects have been uh, they have not been cleared by the government of india all these issues we have raised so you are saying if this discrimination against south indian states continue yeah. then they'll come a time when they'll ask for a separate country is what you were referring sir when you made that statement see i am not uh, it it is be, if they continues like this people will think this is the inevitable hmm. Hmm. The, the already so in tamil nadu this has been this issue has been already raised by uh, some of the years back itself yes so they have to keep everyone into confidence hmm. they are taking all money from south india to north india hmm. what is the fault we are doing it why they are discriminating why they are not sanctioning any projects hmm. our irrigation projects have started by past 10 years hmm. our roads have been not been improved hmm. only they are concentrating on north india hmm. what is the fault of kanadigas hmm. were, were you surprised or how, how did you respond because uh, the prime minister mentioned this on the floor of the parliament the the finance minister also mentioned it they mentioned it in multiple campaigns do you see this as being politicized or how do you view this see they wanted to cover up everything hmm. but whatever we are facing uh, we are lo losing the money hmm. whatever the discrimination see karnataka is most progressive state yes yeah. already in prime minister is from gujarat he represent from uh, uttar pradesh yeah whatever money is given by the to the Uh, Gujarat and Uttar Pradesh. Why not for Karnataka? Hmm. Why not for South India? Hmm. They are looking only for Gujarat. They are taken uh, finance city. Hmm. They are taken uh, taken uh, gift city. All the projects, all the exemptions, all the tax, whatever in future, whatever the taxes will go, it will go through Gujarat. Hmm. It will affect South India. It will affect Bangalore. It will affect the Bangalore employment. this type of attitude we, we wanted to protest mm. on that contest I, I, i am raising my issue mm. you, you would have seen the statement of nirmala sitaraman she says bangalore has benefited immensely after uh, you uh, nda came to power in 2014 under prime minister modi she is also saying that uh, there are several schemes that karnataka has benefited karnataka can't cry that it has been shortchanged and 
North Indian states have to be in a way given a little more because they're not developed. How, do, you, do you agree with this argument, sir? And they're also saying that the state did not put up a very strong uh, defense in front of the Finance Commission when they had opportunity. No, 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 no. They are discriminating. They are uh, doing a stepmotherly treatment by the government of India. She is represent South India. She represent Karnataka. Yeah. She is she is not looking Karnataka. She is not looking Bangalore. She, you, they have to suggest. Uh, she is a finance minister. She has to su suggest Bangalore, uh, Karnataka government uh, to solve this uh, uh, traffic issue to solve the Bangalore uh, water issue, make it that two issue, what has to be done, it, she has having a power, why, why she is not uh, taking interest about Karnataka, why she is not taking about the South Indian issues. Mm. See, he, our money, whatever we have paid for 4,30,000 crores, we are paying in this year. Yes. Out of that, we are getting only 50,000 crores. Out of 3,80,000 crores is uh, where it is going. What is the project they are giving to Bangalore? You tell me, 10 years, you are all the media people, you have to tell me what projects they have given to Bangalore, how much money they have spent on Bangalore uh, development, uh, what all the projects it has come to Bangalore. You tell me and name it, uh, how much money they have given. Why they are going show, showing that is the uh, international airport. International airport is a private project. Uh. International PPP. airport, interna not a PPP model. Hmm. It is a private project. Uh. Yeah. That is not their project. It is not Karnataka. Karnataka has given a land. Yes. Their private project, government has, uh, private parties have been developed. What government of India has given? For metro, they are giving 20% share. Not 100% share they are not giving. Even Karnataka state is giving 20%. Out of that land acquisition cost, which is bear by state government, this, uh, if we calculate it in, in uh, how much the, the state government share means, it will come to 30 percent. Only 10, 10, 10 to 13 percent will come to government of India's share. In rest of the money will uh, taken by the loan mm -hmm. as a guarantee of state government, yeah. not on central government. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are saying uh, we have given suburban rail that goes through your constituency significantly. And they are saying if the government gives, we will execute it on time. Right now it's with K-Ride. See, K-Ride. You, you media people has to go and see the K-Ride. Mm. How much money they have spent from past 10 years, you have to tell me. Mm. Slogans are very beautiful. Mm. All Modi's government statements, slogans, it's wonderful. But implementation and uh, seeing in people, to get the people, this, uh, that is not there. Hardly 100 crores or 200 crores they have spent for past 10 years. That government was there, not our government. Our government came now. Mm. The previous government has spent how much, you tell me? How much money they have given? Name, K-Ride, Metro, that, this and all. You tell me what, how much money out of 4 lakh 30,000, out of 24 lakhs we have given mm. to the government of India. Out of that, how much money they have given? They made, she made the statement that 2 lakh 92,000 has been given to Karnataka. Yes, I agree. Remaining money, what for what Bangalore? How much money have they, uh, they have given to Bangalore? Uh, all the for the all the infrastructure. Mm. This is the capital to generate money for to the government of India, no? Mm. Huh? Yes. Through income tax, through sales, through taxes, exports, exports yeah. uh, customs, and everything. Mm. You tell me what what projects they have given? What is the tax? What is the benefit they have given to Bangalore? Special projects? Any special projects they have given? As usual, they are telling care is they have given, uh, uh, suburban rail we have given, that uh, metro we have given. Metro is not their project, it is a joint venture project. Yeah. They are fooling the people. Mm. Yeah, they are also saying the Bangalore Mysore Highway happened because of the, the Prime Minister's initiative and uh, uh, Mr. Gadkari's push. See, because of Gadkari push, it is have been happened, I agree. Mm. How much in 10 years, how many kilometers they have done hmm. for Karnataka? Hmm. 1,600 crores, 1,600 kilometers. For Maharashtra, how many kilometers? For UP, how many kilometers? You can tell me. For Maharashtra, they have given 26,000 crores, hmm. 26,000 kilometers. Hmm. For Karnataka, it is 1,600 kilometers. From past five years, 
4,500 kilometers of national highway upgradation file mm. has been not moving sing single step. Mm. Not moving single steps towards the Prime Minister has not agreed to get it approved. Mm. Why? Because of South India. In the same case, same line, Gujarat is benefiting. Mm. North Indian states are benefiting. Why we are not? Uh, 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 they have not approved. DP has been approved. Projects have been uh, sent it to government of India. Why they want to keep it like that? Yadurapa ji has gone and requested. Bhamai ji has gone and requested. Several times all our uh, all MPs have been requested. I have requested for my constituency. They have not upgraded any national highways, any sanctions, no? This is the not the discrimination. Huh? We are losing our money. We are paying taxes, huge taxes. GST we are paying huge taxes. What is the uh, GST we are paying? 13,000 rupees per, 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 per person per capita we are paying. Hmm. UP is how much they are paying? 2,500 rupees per, cap, per, per, per capita. They are uh, paying taxes, GST. This is the way the India is looking, going forward. For that, we are. Uh, I will raise my issue. I will continue this. We wanted to. Uh, after delimitation, also we are suffering. There's one more that might happen. Delimitation. Yeah, del in delimitation, we are the South Indians are the very big losers. Hmm. We can't uh, generate uh, uh, any population increase automatically. Yes. Huh? Yeah. We are. Uh, quite uh, within our boundaries, mm. uh, whatever the uh, law came to uh, force for uh, uh, family planning, mm. South India has been implemented, yeah. that has been affected to us. Now since you are making all these statements, are, are you not worry, worried about the fact that the BJP will brand you as somebody who wanted to break the country? They've already said Congress has always broken the country. It's, it's part of the Tukde Tukde guy. No, they are twisting my statements. I am not telling like that. Uh, I'm an Indian. I'm a Kannadiga. I have to protect my Kannadiga's interest. Uh. This is my view. I have to protect my Bangalore interest. Uh. I have to, we have to join uh, and protest against uh, North Indians' uh, discrimination of uh, all South Indians. Hmm. This is my contest. The other aspect is you would have seen uh, Nirmala Sitaraman's comment. She's saying the Finance Commission in its final report did not recommend any uh, special grants at all for Karnataka. Whatever is mentioned is in the interim report. Whatever the whatever uh, it is in the interim report or uh, recommendation, 5,700 crores every year the uh, losses has been uh, has to given. That has been not given. The whatever uh, finance minister has uh, uh, announced in the budget, that money has, they have not given. Not even, or you know, they are not supporting Karnataka. I don't know why this uh, step for the treatment uh, government of India is doing. Hmm. Just coming back to your con constituency, it, it's a challenging one in terms of the dynamics. But if you see what has happened over the last few days, you have. Uh, Mr. Muniratna, who said this is a battle between Ram and Ravan, you will see that Ram will win. Such kind of statements, how do you view it, sir? Because we've already seen the election commission coming out and saying that there should be decorum in when, when a discourse takes place by political parties and leaders. Uh, whatever the statements they are doing, they are provoking me hmm. to make a, some uh, statements. I don't want to comment on those producer or actor hmm. or uh, director. Hmm. He's a director, he's a producer, he's a writer, huh? he's a politician. Yeah. I don't want to comment on his uh, silly things. Hmm. My people are there, my work is there. Huh? Hmm. I'm not told anything about uh, Modi. Hmm. Have you seen this uh, statement of Muniratna? Hmm. Huh? Uh, Ram and Ravan. Not Ram and Ravan, hmm. about Modi. Hmm. About Modi, what he has made a statement, you have to show your new RT, please. Hmm. If you have any 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 moral responsibility, hmm. you have to show him. Hmm. 
mm. you have to show the nation mm. what he has told to about Modi. Mm. You have to show and then you have to ask me and any other question about Muni Ratna. Mm. That type of attitude he is having. Mm. Mm. How do you see the dynamics if these two parties come together in your constituency? Will it change, sir? Because that's something everybody is looking at. Can JDS tra transfer its votes to the NDA or the BJP in certain seats? See, it will not change anything. It will not harm me anything. Mm. I am in ground. Mm. I worked hard from past 10, 10 and a half years. Mm. 10 and a half years, I have worked hard. People have recognized me very well. They don't want to lose me also. Mm. They will support without uh, any political issues. Mm. Whatever they have uh, tie up with their own party. Huh? Mm. Even those people will support me because of the development, because of the hard working. Mm. So we'll, we'll continue this conversation. It's a hectic election schedule for you, but we'll we have a few other issues that we need to discuss with the MP. We'll do that. Mr. D.K. Suresh has just finished one meeting here. Sir, if you talk about the constituency, it's a diverse constituency. It has rural areas, it has semi-urban areas and purely urban areas like RR Nagar. What are the challenges for you, sir? In different, different areas, different, different challenges are there. If you come to rural area, there is a farmers. If you go to semi-urban area, there is a laborers. If you go to urban area, there is officials. So in these three different category people are there. There are different uh, problems they are facing. If you come to rural area, lot of uh, revenue issues are there. Uh, infrastructure issues are there. Ting and tank filling schemes are there. Some uh, personal issues are there. And uh, some people uh, don't have sites, some people don't have uh, houses. Uh, like that, some different, different issues. They want, they need some good education system, healthcare system. That all is there in rural area. Semi-urban area, they want uh, minimum needs, water and other things. In urban area, there is some uh, major issue. They are talking about... Uh, uh, park maintenance, mm. they required about uh, dog issues, mm. street dog issues, they are asking about uh, uh, full-time water, mm. uh, Kaveri water issues, some traffic jun uh, junctions, so like that different different people, different different uh, issues are there. So we have to tackle each and every problem. I am, uh, from past 10 years, I am doing it. Now the gov my government is there, our government is there, uh, we will do better than uh, previous time. Mm -hmm. Sir, finally, in terms of your campaign, it's from whatever we have seen, it's largely focused around the guarantees and you fighting for the state's rightful share in tax devolution. But in terms of a contribution and your, uh, on your plan for the coming term, how would you pitch yourself, sir, for the voters here? See, whatever the development, uh, in my time, in my regime, last uh, 10 months, eight, eight, uh, 10 years, 8 months, whatever we are uh, uh, doing, it's ongoing projects are there. I wanted to complete all the projects. And moreover, uh, we wanted to, in future, we wanted to focus on education and health system. So that uh, thing, uh, I'm uh, giving assurance to the public uh, in rural area. So in urban area, there is a traffic issues are there and moreover drinking water issue is there. For that also, I requested Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, uh, Mr. D.K. Shukma to sort out the issue in my constituency. He has assured me, he has promised me uh, to sort out within six months of uh, drinking water issue. And infrastructure issue also is, is uh, planning for uh, in brand, brand Bangalore. Mm. He's uh, taken up some of the metro connections, double layer, layer uh, flyover with uh, metro, metro yeah. and uh, some area he wanted to do tunneling, uh, junction improvements, all these issues are there. Finally sir, coming to politics, uh, you have talks in the BJP that there might be a road show by Prime Minister rally in your, uh, in your constituency by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. It could be a joint rally where even Mr. Deve Gauda might be part of. Various such plans being spoken about. Would any of these change the dynamics on ground for you? Oh, I don't think uh, their, proper, their uh, party agenda, they will do it. Mm -hmm. My party people, my, work, uh, my workers will do their own uh, 
ground level one. Mm. I don't uh, think uh, it will change the entire dynamics. Whatever we are doing it, we are doing for, uh, from the past 10 years, that we will continue it. Definitely people will uh, vote for those who are, those who are uh, getting benefit out of the gov government scheme. They will all stand by me. Thank you, sir. And also all the best for your whole campaign. Thank you, Thank you sir. Thank you.